they bring them over here and we feed them, make them grow a bit bigger so that when we do release them they can actually survive and not just be killed and eaten by everything else in the river. In order to make the project as successful as possible we had to learn all the natural habitats in the river that a fish would live in. So like the salinity, how much salt we need to put in, how much oxygen they need to have especially and the kind of temperatures they needed. With this we're measuring the deoxygenated levels and the pH levels of this from the filter that's connected to all of these tanks which is um, collecting the excrement and the excess food. It's important because the levels of ammonia caused from the excess can actually harm the, the stuff living inside the tanks. So we have to make sure that it's treated well, otherwise it'll all fail. One of the places where we lose a lot of brim, or one of the, the life cycles where we lose a lot of brim is at that really early larval stage where the brim are too small to swim away. They're actually just eggs that float around on the tides. They move around where the water pushes them to. If there's a, a poor water quality event, which we often get in the lower sections of the Murray and Serpentine rivers, then those eggs or those larval forms of the fish are in trouble. So with my part that I did in the pilot project, I was mainly with the rotifers and we'd breed the, and grow the algae to feed to the rotifers. And once the rotifers grew, we fed them to the smaller brim, like the baby brim. But once the brim had grown up and were medium sized, we fed them Artemia. We're attached to our plankton, you know, our phytoplankton and our zooplankton, and we just sort of look down the microscope and, you know, see what our population is. And then we go out and we drag a net and we check out the, the plankton. And yeah, they're, they're organisms, and, but, you know, we love our fish. <laughs> we released 2,300 last year. Um, we're hoping to do that, you know, about 5,000 a year so that we can increase the survival rate of our brim. And we've also stained them. Black brim are, are a species of fish that are called teleos. Teleos fish all, all have the same feature in that they have these little stones in their head called otoliths. As the fish gets older, if you catch a fish and remove the stone out of its head and slice the stone in half, you can count the rings in it and figure out how old it is, much the same way that you can with a tree with its rings. All of the fish that we've aquacultured, we actually, just before release, swim through a dye that stains the, stone, the otolith in the fish's head. As the fish gets older, that stain's retained. So if we catch a fish five or six years after it's been released and remove its otolith and section it to have a look at it, we can actually tell whether or not that fish was an aquacultured fish or whether it was one of the wild stock. So it gives us some sort of way of measuring the success of our, um, of our stock enhancement project. So hopefully in 10 years time when people are catching brim, they'll return the otoliths and we'll find that our fish that we grew, you know, they're catching them in the Murray River. It was very fun and interesting throughout the whole project, especially when we finally released the fish. Taking kids out on country, out into the estuary so they can see what the issues are, being involved in research with the researchers and they get passionate as I am about their environment, about our little fish growing in our tanks and that they want to see them succeed and grow and then they're, they're part of something bigger. So they're our aquaculturalists, they're the ones that are growing the fish, putting them into the river, at the same time learning how fragile that ecosystem is and how important it is to maintain a habitat for the brim so that they can carry on to catch fish into future generations. So that's really probably the most important part of the, the exercise. Really important scientifically that we try to bolster the stocks of the brim by doing this stock enhancement, but the major part of the project is really getting that community engagement, and that buy-in and bringing the community along for the ride, understanding how important it is that we maintain the river in, in a good state for, for fish. So this project has really helped me learn and like understand the knowledge better because I was actually able to be hands-on and actually take action in what I was doing, not just sit in a classroom and read out of textbooks. So that's really helped me become a better student. It was nice to know that I could do something to help the place that I loved instead of just sitting by and doing nothing. I didn't really think that I would be able to help in all honesty, but it's it's nice to know that I can because of where I am now.